I love my leather goods. Yeah, it's fair to say that most of the time I love them on boots because obviously this is a boot channel. But what about leather bags? Now there's something, right? Well, if you like leather bags, take a look at this. How do you like this? Keep watching. G'day, welcome to my channel Bootlosophy and if, if we haven't met before, my name is Tech. As always, I'd like to pay my respects to the traditional owners of the lands that I live and work on and I acknowledge the uh, Wajik people of the Noongar Nation. Now, Bootlosophy, if you know me, uh, is a boot review channel and yes, I've done a few uh, reviews about uh, gear that you might wear with boots but more often than not, it's uh, very rare that I review bags. Uh, I don't know why. In fact, um, it was pointed out to me that I've only ever reviewed three bags on this channel. And whether it's by coincidence or indeed because I like them so much, the only three bags I've ever reviewed, and I'll uh, put the links to the reviews in the description below, they're all from Cravar, which is the maker of this bag. Now, I'll tell you a bit about Cravar, but before I do that, um, I just want to let you know that there is uh, a link to their website below. It's an Indonesian bag maker. And uh, if you look down below, there's also a 10% discount code. Now, it will only be live until the 31st of December this year. That's 2023. After that, I'll be removing that code. Uh, so it's only available for the rest of this year. So if you, if you like the looks of this bag, or in fact any other bag within Cravar, you can get a 10% discount using the code down below. So don't be tardy. Now, before I start looking at the bag, uh, I'll tell you a little bit about uh, Cravar. It was founded by uh, Yoki Bhaskara. Now, here is an intelligent man. I've spoken to him over the years, last couple of years, since I bought my very first bag from him. And we've communicated, and I can tell you, he's a very intelligent, erudite man. Communications uh, with him in Indonesia is not a problem. Um, he studied architecture, and you can see where some of his thinking in, in design comes into uh, the making of his bags from architecture. But he's also studied political science and eventually ended up doing finance in the Netherlands. So, you know, Yoki is a, is a, a gifted, creative businessman. Now, Kravar, he started that company in Indonesia Yoki's from Jakarta, and I'm not 100% sure where Kravar is located. I think it's in Jakarta, but it might actually be uh, in Bandung, which is very nearby, uh, which, of course, you will know uh, is the center of Indonesian boot making. Now, uh, Yoki started Kravar in 2013 because he'd been very interested in bags, and uh, but he knew that if he was going to start something and making bags with them, he really wanted them to be of top quality. So he put together his formula for success, if you like. Um, he focused on materials, that it had to be top quality materials, but not only that, and you know I like this, he wanted those materials to be locally sourced. So I'm a big fan of uh, small carbon footprints, and I'm also a big fan of supporting local industry. So Yoki sort of put it in the bag right there, in the bag. <laughs> uh, um, but apart from the quality of materials, he also wanted the quality of construction. And he knew that the only way he could control that is to make the bags himself. So instead of subcontracting uh, to a leather manufacturer, of which I understand there are plenty in Indonesia, um, he started his own workshop. And so he could have not just design influence over the bags, but actually uh, influence over the quality. Um, and of course, to, to start it all off, he had to find the right leather. And he has a friend called Max, whom apparently he, he pestered uh, until they were able to experiment and make the type of quality leather that Yoki was, was happy with. And this is from that leather. It is veg tanned leather. In fact, it is pit tanned. And uh, if you know your leathers, most leathers nowadays are chrome tanned. Some of them might be re-tanned uh, uh, in vegetable liquors. Uh, but this is actually old-fashioned pit-tanned, veg-tanned leather. What that means is 
they had these open pits in the ground full of uh, liquor and uh, tannins from uh, vegetable sources, barks and leaves and so on. And the leather goes into those uh, pits and actually sit there for months. Now, chrome tanning could actually take a few days. But in order to do this type of leather in pit tanning, they have to sit in the, in the pit for months. Just think of that from a cost perspective. If you're in business, what you really want is to buy your materials, process them quickly, and sell them out the door. Now imagine if you buy your materials and then put them in a pit tan and wait and wait and wait and then process them and sell them. That's a heavy investment in time, which is money. So really hats off to Yoki for uh, finding his friend to be able to make him this, this really fantastic veg tan leather, uh, which I'll tell you a little bit about in a minute, um, in order to satisfy his, his quality criteria. So that's Cravat. Let's have a look at this bag. Now, this is in the CO range. Cravat sells a series of bags in different uh, model ranges. So CO, uh, FC is another one, Rana, Alpha. Now, basically what these are is a central design that then has complementary bags. So for example, there are CO satchel bags and this uh, type of duffel will complement them perfectly. And they have FC satchels and FC uh, duffels and, and other bags and, and backpacks. Um, go and take a look at their website because you'll be astounded at the different types of bags that they come in. And it's not just obviously the one design because they come in different sizes as well. So you can actually kit yourself out for a full round the world travel, uh, you know, 1930s going around uh, safari style with a whole lot of different satchels and bags of different sizes. Now this one, uh, as I said, is in the CO range. It's called the day trip duffel bag. And you can see um, it's, it's a nice compact size which you can take for probably a weekend. Now, personally, I can pack four days in this because I'm a really tidy uh, packer. And I usually go on uh, a week-long trip with basically just a, a backpack. Um, so I could fit about four days in this. Um, it measures 44 centimeters long by 26 centimeters high by 22 centimeters in depth. Um, there is a, uh, a side sort of uh, compartment here which can take a laptop. Uh, it's not padded, but it can easily take a laptop because of the thickness of the leather. And I think the, the, you can put in a 15-inch laptop quite easily. Um, it depends on the sort of dimensions of the screen because some of the 15-inch laptops are sort of widescreen and uh, some are square. Um, but I think it would fit a 15-inch really easily. My MacBook 13 just slips in there with room for iPads and cables and all sorts of things. So um, let's take a look at uh, uh, how this is constructed. So first of all, as I said, pit tanned, veg tanned leather. It's about two millimeters thick and it's supple and yet sturdy and keeps its shape. The design of this bag, you can see it's quite square. It keeps its shape not through any false uh, framework. There are no metal frames in here. There's not even any wire around the, around the edges to keep that shape. That shape is kept up in that square entirely by the uh, thickness of the leather as well as the design of the panels that Yoki has thought through to create this shape that just doesn't collapse. But it's not like it's super hard, right? It is very supple as well. It just does not collapse. Pull it out and you're back to normal. Um, let's go through the compartments it has. Now, firstly, on the outside, it has this small zip compartment, which you can use for your you know, travel documents, passports, and so on. It's quite deep, as you can see. It takes my old hand. Uh, two zip pulls so that you can actually lock them with a TSA-friendly lock if you want. Uh, on the other side, it's plain. I'll tell you about this in a minute. And then the other compartments, as I said, is a laptop compartment, uh, which is just along the side, full length, full, full depth. And in this compartment, there's also a full uh, width document uh, uh, area, uh, two little slots for notebooks and various items, and a pen slot. So um, this could be, uh, for example, where you might put 
your cables and then your laptop and then maybe a little notebook. And then the main compartment again is a double pull zip compartment. Pulls open quite wide. It zips almost all the way down. And inside it, like plenty of room, inside it is this little uh, zip pocket, which again you can use uh, to put small items that you don't want to get lost, you know, thrown around with your clothing. Um, on the outside, the design of the bag and you know, this all comes together to, to show you why it's sort of structured in such a way that it it's, keeps its shape. Um, you have a supporting panel underneath that shapes itself around um, about a third of the way up the sides and all the way down the bottom. And then you have the two panels that come up and then a full leather panel that comes across. The way it's structured with this zip pocket here uh, with this uh, reinforcing leather piece at the bottom and with the carry straps just keeps that shape. The carry straps are something that's uh, very special. It's actually one long strap of leather. It goes, let me start from here, it goes through uh, these uh, uh, patches to hold them onto, goes under the bag, out the other side, cross there, coming back and comes back to here. Uh, it's stitched, there's a stitch just there which joins the whole strap together. Now the reason why this is clever, in many bags the carry uh, handles are stitched to the sides of the bags so sometimes with use those start to weaken because they are the stress points. What this does is the whole weight of the bag is uh, borne by the straps because they go all the way under the bag and across to the other side and as you carry them there are no weak points because the strap is actually carrying the weight. Very clever and that's the architectural design coming into it. The other things about Cravar uh, is that they use um, really solid brass hardware but here's the kicker. If you take a look at this uh, shoulder, shoulder strap how it's connected to the bag is through a buckle here and it goes through the brass uh, square ring there. Nowhere does it have metal on metal. So in fact what happens when you shake this bag or you run through customs, you hear the squeak of leather but you don't hear the clink 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 of metal which is, is something very very different indeed. If, if I had one criticism I guess is that maybe um, where you carry it is a bit thin. Now, I haven't spoken to Yoki about his design thinking. I'm sure he has a reason for it, as he does for most of the things he puts in here. But I'm thinking that maybe if he wanted an improvement, uh, if it didn't sort of conflict with his idea about why he did this, he might want to put maybe a, a sort of a tube of leather across both of these so that they're a little bit thicker to handle uh, in the... In the uh, uh, carry handle. Uh, for the shoulder strap, this is another Cravat um, innovation. With many new shoulder straps you get this, this little pressure pad that you put on your shoulder so it doesn't cut into your shoulder with this the thin strap. But with many of them it takes a while to train um, that shoulder pad to the right level, to the right curve, uh, and often it's actually very hard. Well, what Cravat always does is they use a sectioned approach. You can see here that the padded part is actually sectioned. So it's really easy to get into that curve and almost immediately uh, fits into a curve on your shoulder. Uh, standing up, it fits really well across the shoulder. Um, if you lengthen the uh, shoulder strap, you could probably have it crosswise, but it, it, it carries well uh, next to you and on your shoulder it fits really well on your hip. Um, overall the quality of construction, oh gosh, I, th I think it's remarkable because um, the stitching is really solid and um, very very consistent and, and fine. There are, there are no loose threads, um, there's no tears in the, in the leather. I mean look at this, there's a reinforcing patch here 
where this where the hardware slips in and it's sewn in and that reinforcing patch just stops that bit of leather from tearing out uh, too easily um, and often this you see where that rivet is this often is what might tear because of the stress point but it's got a strip of leather and it's bolted in it's riveted in that just gives it solidity it ain't ever going to pull out I don't think I'm uh, uh, taking this I, I have taken this on a short trip uh, when I went to a, uh, a little weekend away with my wife but I'm taking this on a business trip uh, in a couple of weeks and that's going to be really uh, quite fantastic I think because I'm going to carry one bag I'll have my laptop and it's a four-day trip uh, my dot bag is that big because I have foldable toothbrushes, I have small toothpaste tubes, I have uh, foldable screw-in uh, razors, and my dot bag is that big. Um, so the rest of it is really shirts and t-shirts and a spare pair of pants or an underwear. Don't forget the underwear. Um, Cravat always give their uh, give some free gifts along with their bag. So one of the things they give is uh, a what would you call this? A card wallet, I suppose. You know, for your cards, super thick leather again. Um, this one, I think, is a little over two millimeters, a little bit thicker than the bag itself. And they also uh, give you a key holder, um, often made of the same matching uh, leather. Um, and because they gave you free gifts, when I opened the box, this strap came not attached. It was just a strap. And my wife and I looked at each other and said, gee, I wonder why they gave us a dog collar. <laughs> and then I had to look at their website and I realized it's not a dog collar. You actually attach it to these straps here and it becomes your pass through so that you can slip this onto your uh, roller bag and uh, roll it through the airport. Dog collar. <laughs> so there you go. Um, I am highly impressed by this, as I am by the other bags from Cravat that I've reviewed. Um, I have an FC13 satchel bag, which I use almost every day and has become really soft and supple. Uh, I bought my wife for one Christmas a computer bag. I can't remember which series it was. I think it might have been the Alpha, uh, and she loves it. It's a bit heavy for her because the, the uh, leather is actually extremely thick and heavy, but she loves it because it's very protective. Uh, and I bought myself a 10-inch Rana, uh, and I had it slightly customized to put a handle on top. The Rana is a camera bag, but I use it because I find it the right shape and roominess to be an EDC bag where I've got my phone and keys and books and uh, magazines. It's not something I take to work. It's something that I take when I'm out maybe shopping or going to see friends or going to dinner, and you might want sort of, um, I don't know, pills and medicines in, in, in your bag. Uh, this I'm going to use obviously as a travel bag and it's going to be great. Editor Tech here, um, slipping this little bit in because I've got to tell you about the actual leather um, being pit tanned. Uh, I wanted to tell you about the appearance of the leather. It's over two millimeters thick, it's about 2.5 millimeters thick, which is pretty thick uh, for bag leather. Um, and because it's veg tanned, it's going to patina really beautifully. The leather on the surface is actually quite pebbled. Um, let me see if I can get a close-up of this that you can see. Can you see the sort of pebbling effect on this? Um, it's really quite beautiful and, and I think when uh, you wear it, it's really going to start uh, a really beautiful patina around the edges and the places where you're sort of rubbing your hands with oil. Um, I also forgot to tell you uh, how much this this uh, is. It's $480 on the website, but don't forget there is that 10% discount code if you order before the 31st of December 2023. Back to the video. So, um, check out the website below. Use the 10% discount code, but it's only until the end of uh, 2023, so don't miss out. Um, I hope you like this review. I'm, I'm really pleased by it and I think I'll now start making more bag reviews, which is going to be quite interesting. And normally as I review things that are not boots, they're obviously things to do with boots that you can use with boots or, or um, uh, in a wear with boots. 
So tell me if you like that idea. I've had a few um, clothing type of reviews, and I'm, I might carry on and do some bags. Tell me if you like that idea. So if you like this video, you know what to do. Click on the like button, please. That will really help me out. And if you're new here and you like a bag review, then you go to my channel and you see other uh, boot reviews because you're really a boot fanatic. Don't forget to subscribe. Just go ahead. Um, take care. Until the next time, look after yourselves.